All right, this next tutorial is going to be, well, it's going to cover a little bit of routing, uh, essentially just static routes, though. So let's say that left branch wants to ping the dot .2 interface of this subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 30. Now, if we try that right off the bat, ping, or since I'm in the config, I'm going to have to do a do ping 192.168.1.2. And this is going to fail because it has no idea how to get from here to here. It doesn't know that this exists because it's not directly connected. Now, there's an easier way to show this. We can do a do show IP route, and it'll pop this up. Usually, since this is so um, blown up, it's going to appear like a mess. But uh, eventually, eventually um, if you do this on your own, you'll see this a lot better. You'll see the codes right up here, show connected, static. These are what kind of routes they are. RIP route, mobile, BGP, EIGRP, EIGRP external, OSPF. These are all routing protocols. Um, and that's, we'll explain a little. Gateway of last resort is just your default gateway windows, or well, pretty much any computer users will know your default gateway is where you send traffic that you have no idea where it goes. And since we don't have a default gateway, it's not able to send it anywhere if it doesn't know about it. <clears throat> so, now this is really important. Now, the C right here means directly connected, as we can see, connected. So it knows about 172.16.0.0 directly connected FA01. And 192.168.0.0/24 is directly connected as well. Um, and you'll see here the 192.168.1.0 is not on here at all, so we're going to add it. So what we're going to do in the config prompt is do IP route. Now we want to route it. We want to route things to 192.168.1.0 subnet mask of 255.255.255.252. Now, there's two ways you can end this. The best way is to add the IP address of the next hop which is where we're going to send it next. To get to there, I'm just going to choose this way. I could choose sending it this way too. So what we're going to do is we will <clears throat> add 172.16.0.2. Boom. The other way you could do this is by adding, typing instead of 172.16.0.2, do FA01. And that just shows the interface that it will send it out of. So it'll send it out this interface. Alright, now we do a, a do show IP route and uh, it's added in there 192.168.1.0 via 172.16.0.2. Now let's say we do a do do ping 192.168.101 Boom, works fine, because now it knows where to send it. Now, let's say um, we wanted to do a ping 1.2, which would be this far interface right here. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> you'll notice that it's still not getting there. Now, why is that? Well, once it gets to here, it knows that it's received it, but uh, it doesn't have any way to send it back. So on the bottom branch, we're going to have to add a static route as well. Now, we can set a static route to send it to this router, or we can just do it directly to that router. However, we're going to do it to this router. So, bottom branch, what we're going to do is do a uh, route um, IP route. We want to get to 172.16.0.0/24. So 255.255.255.0, and we're going to do it to 192.168.1.1. And we're in the wrong thing. So. What we're going to do is do a conf t and then do that. 172.16.0.0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 192.168.1.1. 
Good. Now let's just for go back and boom. Now we're able to ping. That's the basics of adding static routes. Um, for the showing the uh, routing table again, just so we know, is show IP route. And if you want to see the status of the interfaces, you can do a show or sh show IP interfaces, and then I usually do brief at the end, which will just show a quick little blurb about them. You see zero to one status up, 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 and that covers pretty much everything regarding routing. Um, Next, let's take a look at a few other commands. Let's say you wanted to add usernames. Um, so, you go to, uh, let's just take bottom branch, go into conf t, and then username. And once again, you can question mark, and the word, word just means type in username. Let's just say, alright, oops, question mark that again. And then it pulls up a different uh, bunch of different things. Um, what we're going to look for is password and privilege. Those are mostly uh, mostly the useful ones. Um, and these don't have to go in the exact same order that I'm doing them. Usually, you can do either privilege or password um, in different orders. Doesn't matter. Another, another nice thing is you start typing it, hit tab, it'll fill it out for you, and then question mark, and then you can see the user privilege level, 0 to 15. Let's do 15, which is the highest privilege. And then we can do password test. Line con 0, this console line, which is what we connect to. And let's say we want to do, um, for this we'll just do password test and do login. Then we're going to do a copy run start. Now essentially we're just going to reboot the router and we'll try that out again. Alright, essentially I've rebooted the router after I saved it. Now when you try and log on, boom, there's the password. We enter test and there we are. We are able to log in. That's how you add a password to that. Um, now, you can also add passwords to um, line virtual terminal 0 to 4. And then same thing, password test, login. All right. That essentially covers a lot of the, the simple um, commands that is used that are used in Cisco. Uh, and for the and for the tutorials, I'll be coming a little bit more in depth with a few of these commands, and as well as covering the routing. Thank you. Bye.